How's it going guys? Welcome to ECA Sport, this is Jacob. Today we're going to talk about building electric skateboards and the first things that we need to do to prepare for this build. Building an electric skateboard is a very personal thing. Everybody rides their skateboards differently. Everybody likes different wheels, different trucks, and they're prepared to ride at different speeds. But then we also need to look at how heavy are we and also what type of hills and roads we're riding on. The most important thing to get right is the gear ratio of your build. There's a lot of kits on the market that you can buy pulleys direct from a supplier and they're a preset gear ratio. Now, when I do a build, I don't always just go onto the website and say, hey, this is what they're offering, this is what I'm gonna build. It's always good to tailor it to yourself just to make sure that that's the right option for you. Now, I've got a couple of pulleys here. Um, these ones are inertion pulleys. They're some of the older ones. Now, they're very similar to what's also offered at DIY Skate. Inertion's moved to a different type of pulley now, and I really do like the nylon ones but some people like aluminium. Most companies at the moment are offering a five mil pitched pulley. Now, a five mil pitched pulley is really good because you have big teeth inside of your pulley that mesh really well and provide a lot of surface area to hold the belt and stop slippage. The negative of this is you can't have a really high gear ratio. You're sort of limited to at most a one over 2.7. Now, for my personal riding style and what I want out of electric skateboards, that's not enough. So I personally use three mil pitch. Three mil pitch, you have less surface area but generally you can get more teeth in the pulley than in a five mil pitch. How we combat the fact that we have less surface area is we go for a wider belt, usually around the 15 mil, instead of a nine or a 12 mil belt that's currently used in five pitch systems. Now I'm gonna share the method that I use when I'm planning a build. And this isn't actually a hard thing to do, and there's a lot of ways to do it, and there's generic calculators on the internet. But I'm going to share down the bottom in the description a link to my Google Drive and an Excel document that I have set up. We're going to base it all on me. I'm 95 kilos. I don't like to go fast on my electric skateboard. This is because of a knee injury coming off of my electric skateboard. There we go. Done. I find 30 kilometers an hour, maybe 35 is the most that I want to ride at. The aim of your build is to first choose your budget and in that budget decide what voltage battery you would like to use. Now higher voltage will mean more efficiency into your motor, lower amp draw. If you're going to be using a speed controller like the VESC, which is an excellent speed controller to use. The most voltage that you're gonna be able to use is a 12S battery. Now, I recommend mostly a 10 cell, helps your budget as well as space and weight on your board. And it's really that happy medium. Now, we know that a 10 cell battery has a nominal voltage of 36 volts and a charge voltage of 42 volts. So what we wanna do is we wanna say, we need to be using 36 volts at the speed which we're comfortable riding at. In my build, I'm gonna say, I like to go around 25 to 30 kilometers an hour on my board, and that's where I'm gonna sit most of the time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and match 35 kilometers an hour with 36 volts and I'm going to do it while having an RPM rating on my outrunner motor of around 7,000 to 8,000 
RPM. Okay, so this is the speed calculation tool that I use on pretty much a daily basis when doing builds. You can see that the setup's quite simple. We've got the wheel diameter, we've got the motor pulley and the hub pulley. Now, this system, there's only three real options that you need to be changing. You can change the battery voltage as well. Let's stick at 10 volts. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna change the wheel diameter. So I'm gonna use a Kegel wheel for this setup. So I'm gonna change it to 80 mil diameter. And you can see that the speed output here changes. We're gonna use an inertion aspect motor. So that's 190 kV. And we're gonna use, in this build, the space cell. So that's 10 volt, a nominal voltage of 36 volts. We've got a motor pulley, which is 16 tooth, and then the hub pulley that's 60. Now, right here, it shows us the gear ratio. So this would be one over 3.75. And basically you're just dividing 16 into 60 to get that number. Um, down here you have motor poles and electrical RPM. This is basically a calculation when using the VESC. You can see the electrical RPM value. So if you're gonna do RPM limiting, this helps as well. So this tool can be used for a lot more than just working out your gear ratios. So as you can see here, I've got my kilometers per hour here at 27.5 and miles per hour 16.57. The motor RPM, which is listed right here, is 7,000 RPM, which is actually really good for this build. We want it to be, as I said, between 7,000 and 8,000 at the speed that you want to be riding at. So I want to be riding at about 25 to 30 kilometers an hour. So this setup here is perfect for me. The high gear ratio is going to give me a lot of torque out of these motors and also a smoother start off because the motor will be spinning at a faster speed but the wheel will not be spinning as fast. Let's do a bit of an experiment and we'll, we'll say that we're using a 5mm pitch pulley. We're going to change this to 15 tooth and then we're going to change this to 36 tooth. Now the gear ratio goes down to 2.4. So that's a lot lower. But then we have a, a speed of about 42.9, so 43 kilometers per hour at a nominal voltage of 36 volts. So that can be greater. We're not calculating on a full charged battery. We want the, the average speed that we're going to receive. This here would be for somebody who's wanting to go fast but because of this low gear ratio they're going to lose that low end torque to climb hills with this gear ratio the only way that we can reduce speed is by reducing motor kv so let's reduce this to 120 but then our rpm drops to about 4000 which isn't really the efficient point of the motor so we're going to put that back up to 190 and we can decrease the wheel diameter. So let's say we're going to use a 75 mil in heat wheel. So the, the speed has dropped, the gear ratio is the same. So the torque of the motor is going to be the same, but the wheel is smaller. So it requires less torque to rotate. As I said, I like to use a three mil pitch um, set up so I can have a high gear ratio. So we're going to put that up back up to 60. I like 60 tooth pulleys They're about the right size a 3.75 Isn't necessary. We could actually increase this to a 20 tooth pulley and we get an exact 3 1 over 3 gear ratio. So now we're at 34 kilometers an hour as an average speed so this is still around the 7,000 RPM, but we've got a really high speed there, um, which is quite nice. And what we can do is we can click on this and we can change that 3.6 to 4.2. So 
So now we've got 42 volts. So at a fully charged battery pack, we're not going up hills without any voltage sag. We're going to have a speed of around 40 kilometers an hour, which in my opinion is really good. And we have a really nice RPM rating of about 8,000, which is exactly what we want. So if we now reduce this back to 3.6, we've got a 34 kilometer an hour board ranging from 7,000 RPM to 8,000 RPM at 40 kilometers an hour. This build is optimized for 34 kilometers an hour up to 40 kilometers an hour. Now that we've chosen the gear ratio that we want in my particular build that I'm going to be going through step by step with you in the next couple of weeks, we have chosen a 60 tooth 3 mil pitch pulley. This one is 12 mil wide, but I would recommend a 15 mil wide. Now that we've finished this video, I want you guys to go and think about the wheel that you would like to use. So there's usually two options, an ABEC 11 or an ABEC 11 clone. Now, they're both mm. going to perform very similar, but the ABEC 11 is going to have nicer urethane. And then we've got the orangutan cable. Both of these have holes in the center of their core, which means that we can fasten a pulley onto it. The ABEC 11 is more commonly used, and there's a lot more options on the market.